What's going on? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. What's what's going on with your ankle? Um, well, it's been hurting a lot. So I've been I, I got these new insoles and I wanted you to check them out to see what your thoughts were. I got them at the running store. Okay. Um, so usually one thing I look at with insoles is I look at, at wear patterns. Okay. And I can tell these aren't these aren't how old are these anyways? These aren't too old. They're not too old. I just got them a few months, eh, like a month ago, I'd say. Okay. So use it all look for it, it with insoles. I look to see that there's a wear pattern. You can see that she's got dirty feet. <laughs> but that's perfect for this because you want to be able to see this part right here in, indented in, but especially you want to be able to see the toes. And if you can't see the toes in all of them pressing down, almost like you want to be able to wear the toes out first, then usually they're not loading into the toes and it reflects having some ankle problems. This is your left one. Let's see what the right one looks like, which is where your real ankle thing is. <clears throat> so she is wearing into the toes here. So possibly then if we're looking at, at gait pattern as being a problem, then this would be a little bit more off the radar because she already has the wear pattern, which we're kind of looking for. And we can nuance with all this, with all this heel strike and all that kind of stuff. But, but for the most part, when she, gets the, when she gets her body or when she gets her body over her foot, she's loading through the toes, which offloads things like the, the metatarsal heads and it offloads things like the plantar fascia and all the other tenants around the foot. So look at this in regards to your orthotics if you have any. I'm not saying they're good or bad, but for the most part they're really good clues into seeing what's going on with you. So what do you think about, um, what are your recommendations as a doctor for insoles or not insoles? Because that's like a common thing that people talk about is mm -hmm. we don't need an insole or you do need an insole, so. That's a good question. Um, I personally don't use insoles, okay. um, but uh, I have from a credible source that uh, everybody should be wearing some insoles because they help out with, with, uh, with toe, toe strength. Okay. And toe strength is a really good indicator of people having plantar fasciitis and tendon issues and so on, and even Achilles tendonitis. So we find that people don't load in the toes and they have problems with all the other structures. So, but the general thought is that if you are thinking you're going to affect pronation or supination with mm -hmm. it, even with or without the insole, you're still going to do it. So the only thing it does is it disperses the load. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. So it helps out a little bit with toe strength and disperses the load, but you're not going to fix the other things. Um, and if you tend, again, if you tend to stand and have this cave like this, mm -hmm. it doesn't fix that. That's, that's other considerations. Okay. Okay. So I tend to not put people in them forcefully, but if they're using them, I don't really take them away. Okay. So some other people say, like, if um, another, another running coach of mine said, oh, well, your shoes, if you have good shoes, you shouldn't need insoles. So, mm -hmm. and because that's just extra things to have on your yeah. feet. So. Well, I mean, I think we all probably, we all heard the, the thing where it's like we used to run without shoes, right? right? right. But we're also in a different environment too. Mm -hmm. So I tend to think people get in trouble when they have the same shoe, same orthotic, same everything, and they just beat the shit out of it, right? Yeah. So uh, I tend to have people switch their shoe wear every, every month or so. And oh, if they wow. have a, a cycle of shoes to go through, because yeah. really the, the body uh, is, it's kind of like uh, an old lady who is kind of losing it and they, she keeps, uh, she's really good mentally now mm -hmm. because she's playing Sudoku. Mm -hmm. Like they want, it wants challenges. And when you change the environment such as shoes or footwear or surfaces, it usually gets the body to start adapting in a more um, real well-rounded way. Okay, cool. If that helps you guys out, great. Check, uh, click the link below or above. I don't know where it's going to be. And we'll talk about ankle and foot stuff.